Hello, welcome, and it is me. Guys, if you Squirrel Morgington, I am, as always, your host, and hello, my honeys. Hello, my babies. Hello, my ragtime gals. Send me a kiss by wire. Baby, my heart's on fire. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have eaten that mustard-covered sausage. But uh, here we are. We are prepared to uh, play some Dreamfall chapters. Dreamfall chapters where we are uh, deep in chapter three of five, I believe. And we are nowhere near getting any answers out of Ragnar Turnquist. Thanks, Ragnar. Uh, maybe you could answer a few questions for the audience. Uh, he's not going to do that. It's a good thing we've got a video game then. Because uh, video games are fun. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to play. We're going to have fun. We're going to have fun. And please imagine fun in heavy quotation marks. I think I've posted my announcement everywhere that it is possible for me to post an announcement. And, uh, so. Ah. <sighs> it is a fairly nice day outside, so I've got the window open. Uh, I would talk about the possibility that y'all might hear, like, honking cars and stuff, but... No, apparently you will not hear any of that because, uh, because my microphone filter seems to be great. Hello, Silver. It is good to see you, as always. We are, uh, pretty much on for a bit. It is a good mic. It's a really good mic. I am impressed with this microphone. I... I've already forgotten what it is, so I can't plug it, but it, trust me, it's good. <laughs> uh, please sponsor me to forget what your objects are called. You know, if you run a microphone company, I will forget what your microphones are called and who you are. I will happily do that for you. You just have to pay me $100 billion. Uh, there was a blog post from a blogger I read, actually, about doing Twitch as a job versus doing Twitch as a hobby, and I am definitely on the hobbyist side of things. Uh, one moment, please. Okay. Uh, the thing about having my window open is that I can hear a bird, and I haven't heard a bird in a while, and so, uh, hearing a bird threw me off briefly. Uh, the Razer Saren Mini USB Condenser Mount. Yeah, so, Razer, if you want to give me money to forget what you make, uh, give me a lot of money, and then go away. Please sponsor me. Uh, I just want to, um... Note that last time we played, we earned four achievements, apparently. We earned Inu time. You bonded with Inu, uh, which 24% of players have. We earned Let's Get Personal. Keon revealed personal information to one of the rebels. 28% of players have this achievement. These are scheme statistics, by the way. We have Total Recall, you finally embraced your memories. 27% of players have this achievement. And we have the most depressing of them. We have Tool Time. You returned the maintenance worker's tools. 16% of players have this achievement. 16% of people cared enough not to get this guy, like, in trouble. I feel really glad that I rode that train out, because, uh, if I don't care, who will, apparently? But I can't blame you, um, vast majority of Steam players. 
It's not like anybody warned you to return those tools or anything. Pretty impressive considering that's based on total owners of the game. Yeah, and I think this was a game that uh, was given away on... Well, not given away, but was in some of the Humble Bundles. Humble... Humble What's It's. Bumble Babbles. Bimble Babbles. Anyway. Uh, launching Dreamfall Chapters. Going over there. Uh, please don't show my Twitch. My Please don't show Twitch my... Uh, I don't want anybody looking at how I live. Oh, thanks. Thanks, guys. There we go. Uh, and I'm just going to tug this down so that you guys can... Stop looking at me when I start twitching around weirdly because of the Unity delay. Alright, um... Hold on, my, uh, controller wire is tangled around my microphone wire. I pull something off the deck if I don't untangle this. There we go. Yeah, I'm just gonna take a shower back there, don't worry about it. Alright, uh, let's pick up where we left off. Where did we leave off? I do not remember. Oh, right! Um, Zoe, with her new haircut, is going to try to find an antimatter chamber and get a hold of one of Mr. London's modified dream machines. Yeah, let's get on that. Uh, those are... Looks like they have an alarm system. Probably to stop people from stealing any of London's hard-earned loot. Hmm, is that plugged into anything that I can see? Some wires up there go over here. This goes over there. No, I don't think any of this connects to any of this other stuff. Uh, can I get in through this? No. All right, it looks like we're going to have to be stupid. Oh, wait, hello. There's a screwdriver. Can I... Zoe? All right, we're going to have to be stupid after all. Okay, never mind. He's in the worst possible place. I need to get him away from there. Mm hmm. Okay. Zoe, no, not the middle of the hallway! Mr. London's a compassionate man, Sozy. He don't like to hurt no one. Not unless he has to. It pains him, see? It pains him deep. But compassion has its limits, and you've reached it. You just make this so harder for everyone. Look, Mr. London's heartbroken. He's got tears in his eyes, he has. You don't have to be like this, Sozie. Go on. Okay. Make it easier on yourself. Confess. Looks like there's an interrogation Dying going on over there. There's crates. Let's all move on. I wonder what those codes are. Uh, can I get over here? Yeah, it looks like I can work my way over this way. I'm not sure. Uh, I miss the stealth button from Dreamfall. I miss it. Uh, we got some bots. It's Shipbot. What's he doing here? Shipbot, my old friend. Wow, you look bad. It's Shipbot. What's he doing here? That is a line. Can you imagine being in a, a voice acting studio and being asked to deliver that line? Shitbot? Shitbot, what are you doing here? I don't know nobody by that name. They wiped you. Those monsters. Well, to be honest, I understand why they wiped you, but still. It's a shame. You had personality. Hey. I have a personality. I preferred the old one. And I can't believe I just said that with a straight face. Oh no. It lobotomized shitbot. Honestly, that's probably for the best. 
but if the boss man catches you sneaking around, there will be hell to pay. All right. don't know what any of this stuff does. This is a fully equipped facility. That scanner should provide me with all kinds of useful information about London's merchandise. Excellent. Okay. So, uh, while we apparently can't do... Why can I look at the other bots? Hello, Calvin. It's good to see you. It's inactive. Not talking much tonight? Yeah, that makes sense. I understand you're in kind of a, uh... Kind of a position. All right, let's use the I scanner. Need to scan. We need something to scan. That makes sense. Uh, do any of these boxes matter? All right. I don't think any of these boxes matter here. I'm not getting an eye icon on anything around this warehouse. So, um. We may... And I can't seem to do much with shit bot. Been wiped and reformatted. You're lucky I'm running in low power mode right now, or you'd be mincemeat. Shitbot will weld us to death. Um, are you offering wings in the flappy flappy sense, or the buffalo sense? Okay, good. Alright, what about down here? There's a whole cul-de-sac down here. Does any of this matter? Does any of this matter even a little? Hello, here we go. What do we got? Uh, personality modules. Oh, let's see. We've got a blue personality. We've got a cyan personality. And we've got a green personality. Let's start with the blue. Stealth bot. All right. Uh, Kung Fu Bot. I, see what you went and did. I don't know what about do that one. Paul Bot. Alright. Alright, uh, let's... Kung Fu Bot. With what limbs? Uh, Shit Bot is right here. We do not have hit- we do not have a personality that is just like shit. Uh, let's try... I know Kung Fu. Asad Robotics presents the official Shaolin your friend Asadrone. Your sparring partner in the art of Kung Fu. Now booting. Sparring partner? I'm about to get punched in the face. How may I be of service today? I can direct the bot. Respect for greetings, apprentice. What would you have me do? Alright. Let's... Can I just get you over there? No, I have to be pointing at something. Uh, not seeing a lot of use... Oh, hello. Okay. Kung Fu Bot, follow me. You're going to take out a goon. Back there, Kung Fu Bot? Okay. Okay. Go forth, my minion! Last chance, mate. It's only gonna get worse the longer you hold Where are you going? No? Alright then. You think that hurt? Alright. I gotta be real with you, that was way, way, way less impressive than I was expecting. Alright, let's, uh... We'll kill you, Alright. Stealth. Um... Ready to perform in the action you need, man. Can you cloak me? Uh, can you go over there? Great. Come on, Sozy. Mr. London's getting angry. Well, if I get him over there, behind the crates... I'm not gonna be able to do much. I can't replace his personality when... 
He's out there. Uh, can you do Oh, man. Where's the three laws of robotics? Alright, what about Hallbot? Maybe I can get him to steal a crate. Yeah, you do. What can I do? You're oh, no. boss. Hey, can you lift you that man? Well, well maybe I don't have to lift the man. I will try him on the uh, containers. But can you lift that man? What? You want me to move a human? You can't do, boss. That ain't part of Last my chance, job. mate. It's only gonna get worse. Okay, uh, crates no? over here. Off he goes. You think that hurt? Oi, Wait till last the next bucket. one. Where do you, you think you are? Tell us so? what we need to know. We'll kill you. All right, I guess I do need stealth bot. Um, it feels weird. I'm ready for your command, man. I'll do what needs to be done. So we'll have stealth bot go infiltrate some crates. Grab that box for me. Yes, man. Oh, stealth bot can haul. Then what's the point of all bot? <laughs> Let's end this now, eh? Whoa. Okay, he saw that. Oh, oh, okay. I can put a bullet in your head, and we can all go on. Well, did that box just move on its own? Move that? No, he move. I didn't see that. Ah, she won't move. I have to stop smoking this shit. It's messing me up. I tried my best, man. But I'm afraid I don't Ready have the talk. strength needed to lift the crate. The box is too heavy, and my power reserves are being rooted to the cloaking system. It's cool. Stay in the shadows, avoid the light. Okay. Run, run, run. Alright, well that was enough of a distraction to get me over here. That's valid. Now what am I next to? D-E-W. What is D-E-W? D-E-W. Uh, this is what Hannah told me to look for, but there are tons of boxes labeled due. Which is the right one? Well, I guess you better start going through them. There are so many boxes. I need to find the right one. Nella mentioned a code name in her message. What was it again? Uh... What was the code name she mentioned? That's a good point question. We did that yesterday. I don't remember. Bradford, Stanton, Baxter, Paley, Holman, Blake, Penning, Penning, Penning. That's it. I really, really hope this is it. An antimatter chamber. Scan the antimatter chamber to get the shipping records. Uh we'll kill you and there's no more pain and suffering. What do you say? Okay, he's just gonna stay over there. We're using stealth! I say it a full jog. This is it. For Nella's sake, I hope. Yes! It's an antimatter chamber. This is it. And where did it... Wattie Corp. They're made by Wattie, and London got them straight from the factories in China. It's all here, the whole manufacturing and shipping chain. It's just like Nela said. Those arrogant pieces of shit. We're gonna nail them for this. Are we? Okay. Oh, you even printed a receipt. That's lovely. Okay. Uh, what now? Do I just leave? I, I think I can just leave. Get a hold of one of Mr. London's modified dream machines. I can't just leave. I need a machine. Alright. Well, um... Nothing here. 
I'm not going to walk out in front of people. They're busy torturing that guy with golf. I understand. Uh, I got every personality module, right? Blue. Other colors that aren't blue that I don't remember the name. That's not a personality module. All right, well, um... Okay. Ready to talk. It's getting late. Everyone's tired. Maybe I... reporting for duty boss. Maybe I can send Hobot... Over to these crates. Wait, no, it was stealth bot that I needed. Oh well, he's, it's not gonna matter. He's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna be fine. I'm gonna go make a disturbance. Ready to talk. It's getting... Oh shit! All right. And he sets it down gently. All bot, high five. Hello, what's this? More personality modules. Catcher bot. Catcher bot and the Rybot? Are you gonna call field at me? Asad Robotics presents the Acid Anthro and Catch Personality Module designed for holes and play. Now booting. Stand by. Designed for wholesome play. What's unwholesome up? play. What's up? play some ball? Unwholesome play can fuck off. Or you can tell us Dream machine, okay. Oh! That alarm is gonna go off. Uh, can you throw this to me once I get no, all right. It's going to jog over here. I am, I think the alarm is going to go off the second I walk through it with this machine. So what I need is catcher bot to like throw this to me through the field. So I'll have a head start, I think. What's up, champ? Ready to toss a ball around? That said, can I throw the golf balls back? Can I? Um. It's getting late. Everyone's tired. Let's end this now. Oh boy. If I try that from this position, it's going to draw their attention to me. If I try that from this position. If I try that from this position... Okay, what position will work? Because this, this sounds funny as hell. And I want to do this. Because she's not saying no. She's saying if I try that from this position. That's not a no. If I try that from this position, it's going to draw their attention to me. Oh, I know. I know. He can float out from behind the boxes. From over here. We'll kill you when there's no more pain and suffering. No, over here. What do you say? This isn't gonna I think this is gonna get me a game over, but I don't care. Yeah, from over here, okay. Buddy, you coming? Use Kung Fu bot. Uh I would like to, but he has such tiny arms. Die for me? <laughs> yeah! Play ball. Go play ball, my buddy. Get out of the way! What the hell is this bot doing? Move your shiny metal ass, Rust Bucket. Oh. He's. Uh oh. Uh. That's a home run, champ. No, that thing carries a powerful charge. I'm not touching it. 
What is it? It holds a powerful electric charge. Ah, uh, okay. It's a bit disconcerting to see the bot handling it like it's no big deal. Okay, no, this is fine. This is fine. the third time this week we've lost power. Yeah, da. I thought the corpse guaranteed we wouldn't be cut off. Lee, check the power box. Chow, do a full sweep. Make sure we don't have any unwelcome visitors. Human female. Shitbot. Shitbot, you're back. Technically, I never went anywhere. I'm just happy to hear your voice again. Why? Because... No, that, that's a good question. I have no response to that. So, so how did you... <gasps> shit! Someone's coming! Shit, shit, they're gonna find me! I can't contribute! I will distract these humans and ensure your continued survival! Are you sure? Thanks, shitbot, I appreciate it. Remember me! I don't think I could forget you, even if I tried. The last stand of shitbot. Oh, thank God. I was sure they got you. Oh, it was close. Did you get everything? I think so. This is it, right? The antimatter. That's it. Be, uh... Be careful with that. If it breaks... Yeah, I'm painfully aware of what happens when an antimatter bomb goes off. I didn't get this dermal patch and hairdo by choice. So, where to now? The pandemonium. Mira. Follow me. We'll take a shortcut. A farewell to Shitbot. All clear. Come on. We're right next to the pandemonium. I, I will miss him. Betel? What the hell is going There's on? There's no time. I what need you. What are you doing here with- Shut up! For once, please shut up and just listen. Okay. I'm listening. I need your help. Everything depends on it. Now I really am listening. And I'm also intrigued. The Eye broke into my apartment. They tried to arrest me. Or kill me. This is Hannah. She rescued me. Hey, we've met. What the fuck did you do? Maybe it's because I connected to Dreamtime and they know who I am and what I can do. What you can... Never mind that. We have evidence what is behind the terrorist attack. What in the fuck? Check this out. Are you insane? You brought a mother jording anti- The same antimatter that was used in the attack. Manifesto was framed. That device right there connects Watikorp to the bombing. Oh, those fucking mother jords. I can run an analysis on this. Compare it to the readings from the bombing. But how do you connect the two? Here's a tip. If you ever plan on running a criminal empire, skip the paper trail. Will this be enough to nail Wati for the attack? Naila left something for us. A recording. It's been mangled, but we figured you might be able to- Fix it? Probably. I'll take a look. But without wire access, I'm not sure how useful it will be. Good thing we found a live access point in the tunnels. You did what? How long were you guys down there? Hannah will show you how to get there. I need to enter dream time again. For real, this time. Like I told you earlier, Betel, I don't have any unlicensed dream machines. If you hook up using a normal dreamer, they'll probably track you down again. Oh, right. I almost forgot. Well, fuck me. An unlicensed dreamer. What else do you have in there? A rabbit? A dozen white doves? I need to use this now, and I need to do it here. I have nowhere else to go. So is this going to bring down Watikorp and fuck all the right people in all the right holes? You'd better believe it. You can use the sofa. It's gonna look like I'm just sleeping, but if I'm right, if I... if I remember correctly, I'll be going somewhere else. Don't wake me or disconnect me. I just need to know that I'll be safe here. As safe as anyone can be in Propas, Petal. I promise. Watch over me. I made a promise. All right. Right. Here we go. See you all soon.
What the mother joding what? Uh, where'd she go? Well, this shitty shitting shit just got real. Usually she leaves her clothes behind when she does that. Uh... Also, I think we have broken a stream record for number of times the word shit has been said. I'd like to thank you all for being here on this prestigious occasion. Chapter 8, Crossings. Yeah! I've been here before. Oh! She's... That's not her old outfit. She got like a clothes upgrade. Yeah! Welcome to the Ragnar Tornquist Answers Nothing Hour. It's too grimy to see anything through, but there's daylight and the streets don't look too busy. And her dermal patch is gone. Things. It's a lot quieter than it was the last time I visited. I wonder if theoretically blind Bob's still around. There's dust everywhere. The inn must have closed down a while ago. I wonder what happened to the proprietor, Ben Rime. She helped me out first time I came here. Last time I came here, this was your typical cozy fairy tale tavern. Now it's positively dystopian. Hey, is this the darkest timeline? I'm afraid so, Zoe. I'm afraid so. Crow? Ah! Ah! What's the matter? You scared me! You scared me? What are you, what are you doing here? How did you find me? I didn't. I mean, okay, I did. You're standing right there, so technically, yes, I found you. But I wasn't looking. This is my nest. You live like this? Don't judge. It's a roof over my head. Well, a semi-roof. A roof that once was... Where are we? The Journeyman Inn. I mean, it was once. Now it's a dump. The Journeyman... Oh, of course. What about the innkeeper? Ben Rime. She was nice to me. Dead and gone like everyone else, I suppose. I have to admit, I thought you were dead too. Last time I saw you, poof, vanished. I look all smiley. i on the details. I don't remember much from last year. Me neither. After your disappearing act, next thing I remember, I was in Sidir. I just got back to Mercuria, which is why, you know, this place. Sidir? Home to the Azadi. Those armored folks with exciting facial hair and a terrible allergy to magic. I remember the Azadi. Being a talking bird in a place where they hunt magicals for sport? Boy, let me tell you, I'm... Maybe later. I need to find a way out of here. Crow's voice reminds me of the Dungeon Master from, uh, from Zork Grand Inquisitor. Uh, the guy who is currently the voice of You Should Save Your Game. Hey, do you remember meeting me in a dream? I remember dreaming about you last night. Wait. How do you know about my dream? It was my dream, too. You're invading my dreams now? Oh. Oh, god of ravens, I hope you didn't see the one with the chickens and, uh... <clears throat> Did Abnaxus say anything more after I left? The lumpy fella who looks like he's been repeatedly beaten with an enormous ugly stick? Yes, he did. To be honest, I can't follow what he says half the time, but it was something to the effect of... Bring her here. You will have brought her here. You will bring her here. You had to have will be... Etc. 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 I believe the basic theme was, you know, something about bringing someone somewhere. But don't hold me to that. That place in the dream. Where is it? You're asking me? I have no idea. I had a dream, that's all. It was a big, white space. That could be literally anywhere. I I'm guessing... The North Pole? I don't think that's it. The South Pole? <laughs> Abnaxus said something about the children of the Purple Mountains. The... the Ula. Ooh, no. You never heard of them. But the Purple Mountains. Those should be easy to find. Oh, you know where it is? 
No, but come on, purple mountains. Most mountains are gray or white, not a whole lot of purple ones around. I'm sure they'll be easy to spot. Yeah, no, it sounds like we'll need some help with that. We? Look, I don't know where this we thing came from. I am doing just fine on my own. Also, I definitely don't need another adventure. I'm done with adventures. From now on, I'm an unadventurous bird. Aw, no. oh well. You go off and find help for yourself. It's nice seeing you again. Obnax has told you to bring me there. In a dream. A dream. If I was going to start taking advice from my dreams, I'd be in a whole heap of troubles. It wasn't just a dream. It was a vision. Dreams, visions, nightmares, hallucinations. They all belong under the same general heading of really bad ideas. Well, I don't have anything else to go on, so I guess that's where I'm heading. The Purple Mountains. I just want to say that from this particular angle, particularly when they turn their heads to look at each other, they look like they're about to smooch. I cannot pet crow. I am not allowed to pet crow. Yeah, it does look like there's some bird smooching about to happen. I'm not sure maiming the friendly forest folk was one of my mission objectives. Has <laughs> a bird smooch the bird make out with the bird? Excuse me, what kind of stream do you believe this is? You think this is one of your streams, Celine? I can at least look at the bird. Crow must be here for a reason. Or well, I'm where Crow is for a reason. It can't just be chance. I mean, he popped up in my dream vision thing. This means something. Wait. How do I get out of here? Do you have wings? Seriously? Then I don't know. Right. Oh. I guess I need Crow's help to do whatever it is I have to do. He's my officially assigned sidekick. From what I know of legends and fairy tales, every adventurer must have one. <laughs> assigned sidekick at birth. That's Crow, all right. It doesn't look like anyone's taking care of this place anymore. I mean, that's an actual hole in the roof. There's something up there. There is something up there. What is that? Crow? New intersective? No, okay. Hey, Crow, can you check out that metal thingy up there? What? The door handle I removed in order to get some privacy and... Oh. Seriously? One door handle coming right up. I mean, down. In the back. That's surprisingly sophisticated. Door handle. Ba -dun, ba -dun, ba -dun, dun. Why are you living here, Crow? Where else would I go? I'm a bird between nests. I haven't quite figured out my future yet. Basically, I'm homeless. Don't look at me. Don't judge. I'm not judging. I'm homeless too. That's why I have to do this. I need to fix things. Fix what? Reality, dreams, the world, my life, something, anything, everything, I don't know, whatever I'm supposed to be doing to just get back to being me. I can totally relate to all of that. Well, good. Maybe you want to come help out with the drink, with the stuff? Have you found a way out of here yet? Okay, maybe not. I think we were just told to screw off. Hmm? Oh, hey! I need to be out there, not in here. I'm a girl on a mission. I was gonna say that's the window design that's on the uh, main screen. Except, uh, you know, I think that kind of design's everywhere. Alright. I guess we have to leave Crow behind for now. I'm gonna miss him. It's a game of meetings and partings, this, this session. Oh, they're using that same camera angle again. Really?
Okay, we didn't go up here last time. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, that's a problem. I thought you were staying put. In this godforsaken pigeon's nest? I'm done living like a gnat catcher and not having any adventures. It was fun for a while, but I'm ready to live again. Um, Fake out. So what exactly is this thing we're doing? Uh, finding someone who can help me get to the Purple Mountains and the first dreamer. And what kind of adventure are we talking about here? A light stroll along safe, well-lit streets, camping out in the woods under mostly clear skies? Facing potentially life-threatening dangers on perilous mountain paths? I'd say that last one is a distinct possibility. Oh, great. That's great. Already regretting this. Nice to be regretted. Ah, uh, the Journeyman Inn is closed, but patrons and well-wishers are welcome at the Rooster and Kitten. Is there a plan, or are we just winging it? Ha-ha! <laughs> mm, depends. Are the Rebels still around? I've heard mentions of Rebels, yes. Mostly preceded by cursing and followed by loud calls for slit throats and severed heads. That's our plan, then. Find the rebels. Um, any idea where we can find the rebels? I've only been back a couple of months and I've mostly been nesting, so no, no idea. <sighs> Great. Wait, nesting? Isn't that something only- Stop! Let me stop you right there. And let's never speak of this again. What's this? The journeyman is closed, but all patrons oh. and well-wishers are welcome at the Rooster and Kitten on Ired Avenue near Southgate. And here's a drawing of a rooster and a kitten, just to avoid any confusion, I guess. That's right. A pussy riding a... I mean, a kitten. On a cock. A, a rooster. Is it just me, or is that, uh... Not just you. Good. 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 Well, this is as good a clue as any. To the cock and the rooster and kitten, we go. Off we go! This is crazy. Oh, uh, no, really, this way. really here. And I remember it all. Uh, so. Well, I remember some of it. Things do look a little different. But, you know, wow. I'm back. And it wasn't a crazy coma dream after all. Uh, meanwhile, Silverstar, your belief that Ragnar had no grand design in mind when he started Beyond a Game and a Half, I kind of have to refute that, because I have seen concept art of uh, Dreamfall chapters that was posted on Ragnar's blog in 2009. Well, I hope it's worth it. Whatever those so, he was working on this for a long time. Or he had the concept for it for a long time before it got made. So what have you been up to since I last saw you, Crow? Like I said, after we parted ways, I woke up in Sidir. I have no memory of how I got there. I spent some time living wing to beak on the streets, disguised as a common cockatoo. That didn't go so well. I truly hate other birds, foul brain tits. Eventually, I, uh, I got help and found a ride back to Markyria. Then I moved into the Journeyman, then I met you, then we went off on adventures together. But enough about me. What about you? What have you been up to? Coma, mostly. That sounds nice. Was it nice? Wouldn't recommend it, no. How do you disguise yourself as a cockatoo? Um... I have to admit, I'm quite relieved there's less sorcery about these things. Probably involved like fruit salad? Fruit juices? Um... So what's your take on this fruit skins? Like flowers? Flower petals, maybe? The National Front guy. On my honor. Anyone who wants to...
They look like local wines. If I had more time here, I'd love to try one. Magical grapes probably taste magical. What can you tell me about Mercuria? What's changed? Not much. They burned down Old Town. The Azadi have laid metal tubes everywhere. There are thousands of rats. I noticed that. What are they for? Tiny pets, I'd imagine. Not the rats. The tubes. Gymnastics? Hmm. What are the rats for? Science doesn't know. I must admit that I'm getting rather excited about seeing their new Fangu 2 network in action. That's true. That's true. We do have, like, an expert, uh... An expert consultant. Celine, what are rats for? If they want us to sell a pretty good. I mean... For thirsting at centipedes. Thank you. Thanks, Sarah. So where would the rebels be? From what I've heard, they were pushed out of Marcuria after Old Town burned to the ground. There must be some remaining, if the Resistance is still alive. Probably shouldn't talk too loudly about the existence, Ray. Zoe. Right. Yeah, Zoe, could you not, um, actually yell stuff about the Resistance? I keep overhearing people talking about the reaping. This must all be part of the harvest celebrations. When did he learn Pig Latin? He probably invented it. It's like Grackle Latin. I feel better having Crow around, even though I'm not sure what he can do. Still, a useless sidekick is better than no sidekick. I, I'm not saying he's useless. I'm going right. inside. Wait for me. What else can a free bird do? I need the open sky over my head. Or at least a proper hole in the roof. I'll be right here. Or over there, where there's cheese and... Ooh, is that a bread crust? Uh, don't, don't eat the cheese. I'm not. I'm going in. Don't eat the cheese. I'm just recommending. Ah, yes, the Resistance Rebels. The Rebels in the Resistance. The Rebels who are resisting the occupation. Those oh, Rebels. For everyone. What the hell are they thinking? Oh, no. Excuse me, are you the Resistance? You who look like the fucking Thalmor. I mean, why are you trying to check this man's butt out? People drinking in pubs looks the same everywhere. Aside from clothes, and the drinks, and the whole ambience. Festive. Very autumnal feel. I guess this reaping thing is a harvest festival of some sort. Hi, can you tell me about the resistance? Welcome to the Rooster and Kitten. Hey, um, greetings. Well, uh, met? What? What? I don't know. I'm foreign. You don't say. From where exactly? I I'm a traveler myself, but I can't quite place the accent. Up north, out east, down south, or back west? Oh, where... I think the Azadi are from the West. Say something. Say anything. I'm just going to wing it. I wish I'd taken those improv classes now. I have no idea. Well, let's go for the West. I'm, I'm... Say something. Uh, West. Just... Back West. Far, far back. What? Azadia? F further left. West. Further West. I didn't think there was a further West. I thought Azadir was as far west as west goes before it's east again. Right, well, you know, east, but by, by way of the west. That makes no sense to me, but then there is much that I haven't seen yet during my travels. What's this land named? America-Canada. America-Canada. <laughs> yep, home sweet America-Canada. So what'll it be today? I'm sorry, what? You know, you're not the first person confused by that question, even though, by all appearances, this is a drinking establishment. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Is it my demeanor? 
Do I not appear appropriately barkeepish? No, no, you're absolutely barkeepish. You exude publicanism. Um, drinks. Give me a jar of honey. And a pumpkin. Uh, I like cool and sparkly. These clothes are warm and itchy and... Do you have something cold and bubbly? Cold? Bubbly? My ale's warm, flat and bitter. You gonna have a cup full of that? I... sure. Yes. Why not? Mmm, cold, flat and bitter. Are you certain you're in the right place? Not at all. Honesty. Ha! I like it. It's all too rare these days. From your attire and, and... Well, all of you. I'd say you're probably looking for a place up High Hall. Not down here, Dockside. This is a rough neighbourhood and... Well, you do stand out in my usual crowd of ne'er-do-wells. Really, do I? Isn't always a good thing these days. Oh yeah, everybody's looking at me. Everybody is looking at me. Okay. Outplan the best tennis of your life. Congratulations on hitting balls over a net and having them hit back to you and then hitting them back again and having them hit the ground in an appropriate way that you score points. Yeah, I nailed that. I nailed that. Maybe he's right, or maybe he's just trying to get... I'm certain this place has some connection. All right, let's keep existence. talking. No, this is my kind of place. I'm into dives. Ow. I'm sorry. I didn't mean Zoe. to say that. Oh, that's the nicest thing anyone said about my pub in a long time. All right. Really? Maybe it's a language thing. So what else can I help you with, young lady? Are we... Can we just tell him... Say the resistance. I wonder why they're flying those kites. There's some sort of festival. I've only seen humans so far. They used to be blue people, furry people, non-human people. Okay. Where I think they? we've got to make Zoe look as absolutely suspicious as we possibly can. But let's start off with the magical. Where are all the magical races? Oh, you don't know? Well, you are foreign. Uh, they've been, um, what's the word? Repatriated to their original homelands. It's for their own good. Mercuria is a human city now. There's really no need for sorcery anymore. The magicals are better off in the south, I'm sure. I should have said I'm from the convinced. south. I am sure. All right. Uh, how about the There's Azadi? Some soldiers on my way here. The Azadi are still running the city. Oh, they're not. The council runs the city. The emissary is... she's an advisor. Her advice is invaluable. Of great value to all of us. Sounds like a good arrangement. And the soldiers everywhere? For our protection and benefaction. They keep us safe from enemies outside and, and inside. From rebel terrorists and, and the like. Yeah, we're, we're just gonna expose him as the worst actor in the universe. Got the kites. Flying, Are the red kites significant in some way? Kites? You mean the dragons? They're traditional, but it's frowned upon. See, these days they're more of a, a symbol. They represent magic. The balance, the, the drag kin. And they represent resistance to the Azadi, to the new laws, to the exile of magicals. If you're caught with a dragon, or even if you stand too close to someone flying a dragon, the guards will arrest you. You will be punished. I will be the most the illegal point. motherfucker in the entire because universe. That's what those dragons are. Trouble. <laughs> oh no, I am the most illegal thing. Okay, he's mentioned the rebels. We can mention the rebels. Uh, do we exhaust the dialogue tree first? Oh, I hear him stumble through some more this stuff. This was not called the Rooster and Kitten the last time I was here. Didn't this used to be the, uh, the... Oh, the cock and puss. Someone's bright idea of a joke. Oh, we all get it. The cocky cockerel with a permanent frown on his face. Clever wordplay. Look at us, aren't we punny? Yeah, w wait, what? I didn't approve. Too clever for its own good. But the painting of a tiny pussycat with a big smile riding on top of a proud capon. 
That idea I could get behind. It's sweet. It's sincere. It's family friendly. It's how I like my clientele to see me. Oh, honey. <laughs> okay. Sure. This it's been a while since I was here last. What's new? Given your age, pardon me, I didn't mean to presume. <clears throat> Perhaps your last visit wasn't so long ago. Oh, a year and a half, at least. At least? Well, there's no old town anymore. They burned the ghetto to the ground and shipped non-humans off to the islands. Also, the Azadi have built a network of metal tubes. It's everywhere. Mm -hmm. No one knows what it's for, but there it is. It's supposed to make things uh, efficient. And they finished their tower. It's cordoned off until next week's grand ceremony, but it's Ooh, they finished the tower. Okay. Tallest in all the Northlands, they say. So I have <laughs> been suggested to play Rizward or The Wizard of Oz for the Nintendo DS. It will get, it will actually destroy my forearm because uh, you move around in that game with a trackball. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that on the list. Which means I'm all tapped out briefly. Uh, and Night in the Woods. All right, that is two. That is another game suggested by Claire. Wizard of Oz DS. Claire now has uh, three suggestions in the in the lineup. And uh, Night in the Woods suggested by Celine, who has. Now has six suggestions, and Silver Star is suggesting Super Lesbian Animal RPG, which is a really weird suggestion because aren't like 5,000 people playing that game? It's not exactly an obscure... No, wait a minute. Hold on. I wrote this in the wrong order. I have like Super Lesbian RPG suggested by Silver Star, not... Silver Star suggested by Super Lesbian RPG. Okay, there. Does anybody else have any suggestions as long as I've got this document open? Anyway, aren't like 10 billion people playing that game? D does it really need more people playing it? I don't feel I don't feel like it does, but I've written it down anyway. All right, going. Get your redeems in while you can. Going once, going at twice. Okay, I'm all tabbing back over. More people need to play it, but not necessarily on stream. Well, too bad. Too bad. Ah, uh, if this. All right, let's ask about the rebels. The resistance. This man would know. Hopefully, he won't kick me out if I ask. What do you know about the resistance? You know, rebels, rebel movement, the, the magical insurgency, no? We don't discuss terrorists here, madam. Oh, right, I'm sorry, I didn't mean, I was just curious. Tell you what, there's someone you might want to talk to over in the smithy in City Green. It's on the far side, close to the gate into the bones. Go knock on the door. Tell them you're there to inquire about the library. But now I'm afraid I have some work to do. I have been neglecting my other customers for too long. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks for all your help. Okay. We have a lead. And you remember when uh, we got sent into a back alley and beaten up for asking about the resistance that one time? Bro. Bro? There he is. I got a lead on the resistance. While I'm looking into that, there's something I want you to do. A mission. Mission is my middle name. No, that's not true. It's Edward. No, also a lie. I just always wanted to be an Edward. I need a bird's eye view of things. Are you trying to get rid of me, Zoe? Of course not, but I'll feel much safer if you're watching out for me up there while I'm following up on our lead down here. 
I feel a swelling in my chest cavity that can only mean one thing. Pride? No, an imminent burp. But I will do this thing that you ask of me, and I will feign pride if you need me to. <sighs> Knock yourself out. Geronimo! Except in reverse! A minareg! Off he goes! Oh, minareg? Alright, we have to find the vil- Um, oh dear. Alright, we're good. We had a little freeze there. It choked for just a minute. The village green. I kept accidentally walking there as Keon. So I think I know where it is. So, how's business? All the people around here have a heck of a hat. I mean, reaping's a great time for me. Here's the city green, and uh, it's just around this corner. Hi. What are those called again? Old Wayne. Al Wang. Something like that. They're docile, like giant hippos. Wait. Are hippos docile, or are they deadly? I think deadly. Great. Nice thing. Good boy or girl. You can pet the dinosaur in the in Dreamfall chapters. Yes. Yes. I do not think they are called Ardeus. Ooh, apples. Zoe. Apple bobbing. Flashback to birthday parties and childhood crushes. Nothing beats half-eaten apples floating in murky water for awkward preteen courtships. Uh, using the hand icon on the bo apple bobbing doesn't do anything. Which surprises me a little bit. There's not even like a failure line. There's just sort of a boom. Alright, here we are. We're Wait, that's not what he said, was it? Visit the smithy. Well, can we uh, visit an access anyway? I don't think anyone's living here, but it can't hurt to check. I don't think anyone's living. Rustic. Like something out of a Miyazaki movie. I could see myself living here. Alright, well. <laughs> like something out of a Miyazaki movie. Oh yeah, that's... That totally means that you won't get, like, decapitated by a flying arrow or anything. Miyazaki is a peaceful planet. Uh, can I? Yeah, I've got a map. Okay. Uh, near the south gate. That's... That's over that way, but... I don't think you said the south gate. Uh... Near... Was it the smithy? Is this a smithy? Ye old smithy. No, that's not what it says. It just says blacksmith. This is not a renaissance fair, Zoe. No ma- Hey, it's soft. I thought it'd be hard like a tortoise's shell. Yeah, Miyazaki is just, you know, soft uwu aesthetic. There's never anything horrible happening in a Miyazaki movie. Okay, let's... Bonk. Hello, I'm here about the... The library. I know, it's a weird opener, but I was told that this is... Okay, we're going inside. Cool. Uh, am I imprisoned now? Am I trapped? Or is this dude cool? I think this dude is cool. I think he was with the resistance. But we don't care because we're going back to the balcony. Okay. Harmy knows. Knows what exactly? That Kian is alive. And Shadow knows what else he told the general. It is not. They spoke. My men saw the general entering the engine room in the green. Alvani was spotted leaving the house soon after. 
They were alone in there with one of the engineers. Ferdows, I believe his name is. He's nowhere to be found. Harmy must have stowed him away somewhere. A witness. So he knows that you've lied to him? Oh, he will not confront you with this yet. Not until he knows why and what we're planning. Yes, Harmy is as clever as a rock snake and twice as deadly. We need to get rid of him. Mother Utana, too. He must have told her. They're thick as thieves. The only question is, have they informed the first? Not without more evidence. There's still time. You're speaking of assassination. What else would you suggest? We crossed the line long ago, Vamon. There's no way back. I can't just walk into Harmy's cell and cut his throat. It needs to look like an accident. The ceremony. It's a week from now. We can't afford to wait. We can't afford to be hasty. Until he has concrete evidence of our treachery, the General will continue his investigations. The ceremony, then. We kill them both and make it look like the work of the Resistance. But if he acts before then, I need to be ready. I need to inform those who are loyal to- Hush. Come here, my sweet. Don't worry. We will survive this. We always survive. We've worked too hard to fail now. The engine will be ours. The Northlands will be ours. The General's men will pull back to Azadir. The Council will not mount another campaign. They cannot afford it. They lack the support of the people. And then we return in triumph, carrying the light of the Goddess, and we destroy our enemies. We rule as a dear, as we've always planned. We will not fail, my love. I will be Empress, and you, my supreme commander. This is the will of the goddess. I know it is. I know it. Can you imagine kissing that face? It's gotta be like kissing beef jerky. Uh, no preconceptions put in place by soft duo like Kiwi and Kiki. Yeah. Honestly, Kiki's delivery service, uh, one of the heaviest scenes in all of Miyazaki to me is the extended sequence where she helps bake that, like, pumpkin tart or something and figures out the complex logistics of transporting it. And then she gets it to, like, the party and they just go, oh, yeah. Grandparents baked another pumpkin tart and they like, dump it to the side. That's one of the most emotionally heavy scenes in any uh, Miyazaki movie to me. Just a complete neglect of, like, someone taking time and effort to prepare food for you. That hurts me. Uh, anyway. What's this place? Where are you taking me? Can someone please say something? You are the resistance, right? You know, instead of abducting me, you could have just asked nicely. I would have come with you. I wanted to come with you. Not talking? Fine. Take me to your leader. Always wanted to say that. Shepard's busy. She'll talk to you later. So now you are speaking to me? Good. I'd like to... Well, wait. I remember that man. Isn't that... Stop talking. Keep walking. But I know him. Shut up. Absolutely not. No. You cannot leave Mercuria oh. now. If you go to Guillen... What if they find you? They'll kill you. So they kill me. I understand the risks, Eno. I know you want to protect him, but he is one child. If you end up dead, what do we do? You carry on. You're stronger now. You can fight them. You know that's not true. The general has brought more troops from Azadir. She moves like she's in stop motion. Precarious. I'll go with him and make sure he stays alive. What? You will not. And we lose the both of you. We were lucky we didn't lose more people when Old Town burned. It's only a matter of time before the Azadi make a decisive strike against us. Boys. I'm as soft-hearted as a zidling schoolgirl, and Bip's my friend too, but I agree with Shepard. We can't risk it. It's not just about the boy. If I go to Guillen, to the camps, I will find evidence of what they're doing to the Magicals. 
And if General Hami and Mother Otana learn the truth of what's being done to innocent creatures, perhaps they'll... Creatures? He didn't mean it like that. Right, Kyan? You didn't mean it like that. He's shown that he doesn't consider magicals to be people. I still remember that child molesting Azadi officer you let go. People. Women, children, the defenseless. If Hami and Otana learn the truth, they may have a change of heart. They may pull their support. We can't win this war on our own. Vamon and Saya are too strong. With Hami's men on their side, they'll be unbeatable. But if we undermine this support, even if Hami does not join our side, our chances will improve. Force me to stay, and we only delay the inevitable. Let me go, and we could win this war. <sighs> Good reframing. Don't make it easy for me to lead, Kian. But maybe it's time I let you make the decisions. I won't stand in your way. I don't like this one bit. When are you leaving? Right away. If I can sneak on board a cloud ship leaving for the islands tonight. Which means there's not a lot of time. Well, don't let me stand in your way. Go be a hero or whatever. Fine, I will. Oh, we are Kian now. We've seamlessly skipped over. Alright, let's... I've spent more time with Enu since I spared that officer's life. Mostly because Liko's been avoiding me like the Dalmari plague. Let's, let's, get into, let's get into Enu's head a little bit. That thing I said about being a hero or whatever, that came out all wrong. I'm sorry, I... It's scary how easy it is to forget about individuals when you're so wrapped up in fighting for the so-called greater good. There's all this talk about our cause and the big picture and... and... You have to go. That's what makes us people. It's not really about the greater good, it's about all those little goods that we do every day to each other. And this is that greatest little good of them all. One boy's life. It matters. And I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize to me, Enu. But thank you. Just... What? <laughs> don't die. <laughs> That's all. Don't die and I'll be fine. Enu, uh, basically said what I was going to. There. So... Yeah, I was- I was gonna say something like that. I wonder how the fuck you play that game. Um... Am I allowed to go find Zoe? Books. There are still enough books here to fill hundreds of long evenings and sleepless nights. I've read a number of them, though many are written in languages I've yet to learn. You've read books in a language you don't speak? Yeah, alright. Shepard told me the story of the Merum, and how April Ryan visited with them below the ocean. Sounds like a fairy tale, but she swears it's true. Oh god, what do you want? Nah, I'm not even gonna fucking bother. You're leaving without me. You're needed here, Liko. Those prisoners? They are my people. Imprisoned by mine. This is almost certainly a suicide mission. If the Resistance loses us both, they stand no chance against the Tower. If you die, I will celebrate your death. But... I will never be their leader. You've proven yourself. They need you. Go. And stay alive. For them. For all of us. You still plan to kill me after? Of course. Well, I wouldn't want to miss that. Honestly, I guess reading a book in a language you don't speak is no different from reading a book in English if you don't speak English. I mean... And when I was a kid, I didn't speak English. I didn't know how to read. So... That's a good way to learn. I mean, that's assuming you're making an effort to... to learn. Did I just fucking recount the learning process? Is that what I just did? <sighs> but yeah, um... 
there are these uh there are volumes of the manga Unico that are designed to be easy to read for young Japanese children who are learning how to read Japanese. And I've occasionally thought of importing a couple of copies. Just to, you know, maybe I can be a young children who is learning I'm not to sure read maiming the friendly forest folk was one of my mission objectives. Right, I must first learn how to learn. We're bringing magicals through that gate and onto the cloud ship. That cloud ship's headed to Guienne with a new batch of prisoners. I must get on board. I'm glad we're ditching, uh, Leko, though, because I... I would not want to... He's basically a cop who hates me. And I don't want to do, like, a buddy movie with a cop who hates me. How do I get on board the cloud ship? They're using the staging platform to lift magicals onto the cloud ship. All right, staging platform. Um, what does that mean? It means I have to look like either cargo or maybe I have to get myself arrested. Or I could hide in a box. Not allowed to hide in a box. Okay, it probably smells like fish anyway. Okay. Before I learn to learn, I must first learn to learn. Aha! I'm learning. A little bit. Yeah, um, entire crew, very awkward. Anything over here? No. What? What am I looking at? The goat thing was a joke. I mean, you guys know that, right? That was a joke. When's this ship taking off? In a few minutes, I think. It's fully loaded, barely any room in the hold. Is that the last of the magicals, then? From the ghetto, yeah. I mean, there are still stragglers. Uh, I see them around walking freely like they're actual people and not... How animals. do I...? That's disgusting. Oh, well, then. Uh, were those related incidents? No. No, I think Keon has been gay. I mean, like, he started gay and kept it up. Kept going. <sighs> oh, well, they're not really animals, are they? Find a way they're on like board the car. Intelligent. At least some of them. Oh. No. They led the magicals through that gate to the cloud ship. Well, I don't know. I had a long conversation about farming with a Domari last year at the Rooster. Get in the box? Yeah, he just kept he kept gaying. Well, I don't know. At no I point had a long did he stop. Conversation about farming with a Domari. What do you want? You're not supposed to be here. Booger off before we arrest you. Yeah, can you open the gate for me? Smooch. Uh, I just need you to open the gate. I would like very much if you open the gate. Okay. Well, I don't know. Well, I had a long conversation. Um. Who's there? Hi. It's uh, Kian Alvane, and I'd like to go through the gate, please. The ghetto's been burned to the ground. Can't go Whatever's that way. There, it's real. I envy those who can shut their doors at night and find peace inside. But that's why we fight. So that they can shut their doors and forget. Um. There has got to be something somewhere. 
that I can do to either, like, get arrested or... Hey, can Hello? you guys... Hello? Huh. Could have sworn I saw something. No, right, Keon's still in, like, uh, mostly invisible mode. There's food left on the table. Would you like some? No? Okay. If you're a ghost... They're keeping I Read Avenue closed at night, and the Tower Square remains inaccessible until next week's ceremony. Ah, <laughs> uh, do I need another rat? Do I have to bring the rat cannon back? Hey, Red Threads, you guys made this game. Can you give me a tip? The weirdest Skyrim mod you've ever played? Oh, no, I've played way weirder Skyrim mods than this. I have played some weird Skyrim mods. Okay, uh, did I miss something back here? All right. Google, my friend. Google, Google, Google. Uh, uh. Mm -hmm. Hold on. I am now looking up uh, Dreamfall Chapters Walkthrough. I hate doing this, but at the same time, I am not going to get stuck for the next half hour. We're on book three. And... How to catch rats, okay. How to do the warehouse. Uh-huh. How to board the airship. Oh. How to board the airship? I should have been more patient. I should have been more patient and just stood there and listened to the racists. So if we stand here long enough... Oh, I had a long conversation about farming with a Dolmari last year at the Rooster. She seemed nice. You'll want to be careful talking about your love for the Magicals. There's a reason they're being shipped off to the camps, you know. But I... Oh, never mind. Anyway, you should be up there keeping watch, not down here talking to me. So this dude walks off. And I'm not sure if we follow him or not. I guess I'll follow him. Okay. It's the other guy then. And this guy turns around to take a pee or something. And we just Assassin's Creed him out. Which... There we go. Okay. Keon? Where are you? Oh no, no. You're not going after him. He's not your responsibility. None of this is on you, Keon. It's not just the one life, Anna. It's not just Bib. The Azadi take the Magicals to the islands. They're not given passage to the Southlands. They never come back. It's all a lie. The old and the young families sent away to die, forgotten by everyone. 
that ends now. I refuse to forget. The Resistance will persevere without me. I'm not really one of them. I never was, I never will be. I'm a Zadi. You're a Zadi. So what? I'm not saying what they're doing is acceptable, but... Are you going to free every Magical on your own? Take on the entire Zadi army single-handed? You're being stupid and emotional and... And you're being selfish. You're leaving us when we need you the most. You're leaving me. Again. What do you mean by... My name isn't Anna. I use a different name in every city. It's safer that way. In Sadir, I was Elena, but... I never told you my name. You don't recognize me. That's fair, I've changed. You haven't. Except for the, you know, it's a good look for you. You're the girl I saved from Vamon's gang. Yeah, I'm the girl. What, that's it? I spent every day these past 20 years thinking about you, and I'm the girl. Oh, I feel so special now. Forgive me, Anna. Elena. I do remember you. Vamon was trying to... Hurt me. And they would have killed me too if it hadn't been for you. You risked everything and you stood up for me. That was the first time anyone had shown me any kindness. You brought me to Mother Ritana and she took care of me for a while. I watched you from a distance for years until I was uh, forced to leave Sadir. But I knew I'd find you again someday, Kiana Vane. That was a long time ago. I was a different person. No. You were a different person in between, but now? Now you are the boy I knew from all those years ago. The boy with his eyes and heart wide open. The boy who risked his life for others. The boy who... Oh, God damn it. This is why you have to go. <laughs> Not because you're a Zadi, or because you're the Apostle, or the great hero of the Resistance, or because of your goddess, or... or because you're selfish. You have to go because this is who you are. The boy who saved my life. Will you help them while I'm gone? This isn't my war, Keon. Maybe not. But it is mine. And I believe what happens here will change the balance for all time to come. I didn't know you believed in the balance. I didn't. Will you help the Resistance in my absence? Fine. Fine. I'll help them. You're not pulling away this time. What was that for? For love, you idiot. I've loved you since you lifted me out of that gutter and saved my life. I've loved no one else. I don't know if I can... It's taken me over 20 years to find you. You'd better fucking come back, or believe me, Kianavane, I will go to the first mountain and drag you back, kicking and screaming, to the world of the living. Kian A, Kian has gotten more play with the ladies than most gay characters I've seen on screen on any screen. Which is weird, but okay. B, I kind of love that twist of uh like she starts off arguing this is totally out of character for you, and then she realizes Wait a minute, no, this is perfectly in character for you. Fuck, I hate that. I absolutely love that. Stay right there. You're under arrest. What? <laughs> Tell the self segment. Tell the self segment in like 0.5 seconds. <laughs> God damn it, Kian Alfane, you'd better come back. Comes back. Oh, I, I got a, I got arrested. Stay right there. You're under arrest. Okay. Dun 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 dun. dun. Civilian, you're in violation of martial law. 
Snake! Him. Sorry. All right, this time let me actually click on him, like when I have a chance. Let's move on, shall we? Ooh, it's a box for hiding it, no? Really? Okay. Oh no, I pushed the button. <laughs> uh, yeah, all right. All right, I didn't. Do not leave without me. Quick, pull me up. I can't hear you. I'm no. deaf all of a sudden. No, I... I'm sorry, Liko. You bastard! I'm sorry, Liko, but taking along a dude who hates me and has sworn to kill me does not sound like a good fucking time. The lone Keon works alone. Up, up and away in my beautiful balloon. All of your decisions have been recorded for book four. This is a summary of a few of the choices you have made and the consequences they may have in the future. Future events such as these will affect me in the future. Keon Alvane. I've opened up to others about my personal life. I'm not sure how I feel about this. I'm not ashamed of who I am, but I'm also not comfortable with letting others get too close. And my words can be used against me. Some people may address me and treat me differently because of what I've revealed of myself. That's on them, not me. 97% did that. Yet yeah, 97% of adventure game players want to talk to people. I return the mechanic's tools. He will never know what happened and he will not be punished. Your actions will not go unnoticed. 54% made this trip. Hot damn! Okay, I feel better about the people who played this game to this point. Although I feel bad about how many people have not played the game to this point because... Hmm. Well, we read off that achievement stat at the start of the stream. I drugged the rat with cheese and even song. Even cheese. Perhaps I could have procured that hairy ground crawler in some other way? Your rat catching skills will matter little in the grand scheme of things. 58% made this choice. There was some other way? Huh. Well, maybe I could have built a trap out of the, uh... Out of the pipes. Hmm. Now I want to know. Zoe Maya Castillo. I acted quickly and dodged out of the way, giving the man in the suit a clear line of sight. He shot the eye soldier behind me, probably saving my life. Who is he? Why did he help me? You will learn the consequences of your choice in Book 5. 66% made this choice. Cool. Arty's data is still with Reza in Iceland. Was it right of me to give it to Sully? And when will the Hand be able to publish the story? At least Baraki is doing okay, even though I betrayed his trust. Uh, 76%. You will learn the consequences of your choice in Team Fortress 3. Yeah. The Scout will not join your party. At the Rooster and Kitten, I ordered a sparkly drink. That was a rookie mistake. Your choice will probably have no consequence whatsoever. What did you expect? Uh, Ragnar, I'm going to punch you. Thanks, Ragnar. 
The Resistance can't afford to lose the both of us. I had to leave Miko behind. He will resent me even more for that, but the others will understand. Your choice will have a major ramification in the next book. 24% made this choice. 24% wanted Liko to fuck off? Huh. Uh, actually, sincerely, add Raw Danger. Yo, yes, I... Raw Danger is on my list. I'm going to, uh... I'm gonna pop that on the list. Add it in the place of the Wizard of Oz. I'm sorry, I'm... I've gone deaf all of a sudden. I can't read. Welcome to Chapter 9! Uh... Rip Boone's greetings, everybody! Clap and spin and clap and spin. Oh, hey, Crow. Zoe? We didn't have a saga scene, that's true. Zoe? Zoe? Zoe is not a goat. Pro keeps losing Zoe. protagonists. <laughs> oh! Shoo, bird. Oh, shoo yourself, you big hairy lug. What in Charles name it? I know you. You arrived with that Stark girl yesterday. You're her bird. Her? Bird? I am my own bird, I'll have you know. Her bird. Psst. The nerve of some people. Besides, I lost her. She done gone vanished on me. I am, it seems, an expert at misplacing beautiful young women. She's not misplaced. She's with... The Resistance. The Resistance. So she did find the rebels, and she didn't think to tell me. Well, some friend she turned out to be. Well, to be fair to the girl, it wasn't entirely uh, uh, voluntary. What do you mean? They kidnapped her. Crow to the rescue! Uh, so, where exactly did they kidnap her to? I'm not supposed to... Well, I reckon the chances of you being an Azadi spy are rather remote. And that poor girl could probably use a friend. Do you know the old Sentinel Library outside the city? It's in ruins now, but beneath it, in the Enclave, you'll find your girl. Unless they took her egg, in which case... Hold on, Zoe! Hold on to your head! I'm on my way! Crusader comes to my rescue. I trust you got some sleep last night. I would have if you guys believed in bed sheets and pillows. You are fortunate to be alive, girl. Who are you? Why do you ask questions about the resistance? I'll keep it simple. Or maybe it's better to mention the rebels. On the other hand, asking for the rebels is what got me into trouble in the first place. Deny everything? Or Last time I visited, I helped the resistance. I thought maybe you'd want to return the favor. You helped us? I'm sorry, but I do not know you. Zoe Castillo? I'm on your side. I'm just trying to find the Purple Mountains. I don't know where that is. What about the Ular? I'm sorry. Of Naxus? Of the Venar? I have heard of the Venar, but they left the Northlands. 
And of Nexus, maybe a whisper, long ago, nothing more. I cannot help you. Damn. Oh, damn. Is there anyone here who would know? Perhaps. But you haven't answered my question, girl. Why should we help you? For all I know, you're an agent of the Azadi. No, I'm... Zoe! She's Zoe! Balance. Don't you dare touch her head. She's on an important mission! I see. And who are you? Crow! Honorary rebel, long-term avian buddy, and occasional sidekick of April Ryan. Rebel leader, adventurer, hero, savior of the balance. That's right. Here's Crow. This is him. I'm me. So... Where's April? She can oh. vouch for Zoe. They're best friends. Tight as he gets it now. I don't see April. Is she out on a mission or sleeping in or... No one told him. Why are you him. both looking at me like that? I... I thought you knew. Knew what? What's going on? What? April Ryan is dead, Bird. She was assassinated during an Azadi raid on Miria the winter before last. She died a hero's death and was given a hero's burial. We remember her fondly. What? I'm so, so sorry. Crow! 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 Okay, I'm an idiot. I've heard of this bird. Crow. So, you knew April Ryan? We met a couple of times. I... I was there when she died. I found her. I tried to save her, but... I couldn't. So, yeah, I guess I knew April. You're the Stark girl. The one who dreams. They spoke of you. Bakim, Bryn, Chawan. They said you were one of us. Oh, this certainly changes things. But how did you... Liko's wondering, now that Kian's gone, if we should maybe... Oh. Oh. Hello. You have lovely hair. <laughs> um... I'll speak with Liko Enu. With Kian gone, we need to change our plans. Kian? Big Azadi guy. People call him the Apostle. You know him? We met once, briefly. He was kind to me. But isn't he the enemy? Was. He's with us now. Defected. Uh, yep. Well, except that he abandoned us again to go on a crazy suicide mission He to left last night. <sighs> of course. After everything that's happened, we just miss each other. Uh, oh, Enu, this is... Zoe. Am I saying that correctly? Yeah. Hi. Nice to meet you, Enu. You're so pretty. Uh, that came out wrong. Wanna be friends? Oh, sorry. Zoe needs our help. He is barely She's holding friends. herself back. Maybe you of can... Of course. No problem. Leave this to me, Shepard. I'm sorry for questioning you, Zoe. And I'm sorry I could not be of any assistance. Please, stay. Speak with Enu and the others. Perhaps someone here has the answers you're looking for. Thank you, Shepard. Where are you from? Your clothes are amazing. Where did you get them? They came with the jump. I'm from Stark. That's... Across the divide. On the flip side of the balance. The world of science. Are you serious? That's incredible. I have so many questions. I don't even know where to start. I... I'm... I am seriously worried my head might explode. I think I need to sit down. Oh, don't explode. I'm not that special. I mean, you're orange, and the ears... Uh, I'm just a boring old zid. It's totally normal. Holy crap, Stark. I can't believe it. How did you get here? Are you a... Are you a shifter? A dreamer. I just... Dream myself here. Just dream yourself here. That's it. No biggie. You are the best thing I have ever seen. Seriously. <laughs> really? Okay. Thank you. So, what do you need help with? Shepard said, I'm trying to find the Purple Mountains, and a tribe of magical creatures called the Ula, someone, a Banar named Abnaxus, told me Whoa, to- Oh, slow down. Okay. Purple Mountains, Ular, Banar, Abnaxus, right? Nope. None of that sounds remotely familiar. I have never heard any of those words before. 
Of course, there are a lot of things I don't know. I'm a... I mean, I was a farm girl. A silly zibling. There's so much I don't know. But I do know where to look for answers. Oh? Where? The library. The library holds all the answers. Do you have libraries in Stark? Never mind, silly question. Of course you don't. I'll go to our library right now and start looking. Purple Mountains, Ular, Abnaxis of the Venar. Come find me when you're ready. I can't wait to spend more time with you. Ugh, oh, sorry. <laughs> I am torn between... Like... Oh my god, Crow just had his heart broken, and... Oh my god, I think Anu just had her heart opened. I assume it's not an actual dragon's head, but you just never know in this world. Yeah, it's not a dragon's head. A round table? Check. Chivalrous knights? Check. Magic? Check. That's right, this would make for a great theme restaurant. Okay, I gotta figure out where Crow went. He went up. But that doesn't mean that he stayed up. Here he is. We have got to talk to Crow. I'm so, so sorry, Crow. I thought you knew. It's fine. It's not your fault. I just can't... I can't believe she's gone. But I sort of knew, you know. I felt it in my heart. And that final time we were together, it wasn't... It wasn't like it used to be. It was weird. Like too much time had passed and we drifted apart. I should have known it wouldn't last. How can you ever know something like that? He's not alone in feeling that. I know that feeling. It's something you just have to learn to live with. I know. I will. Were you there when she... I witnessed the whole perhaps better to avoid the topic. No, he needs to actually know what the fuck happened. But should I tell Crow that? <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I'm... I was there. I saw it happen. I tried to help her, to save her. I know I was supposed to, but I... couldn't. Not your fault. Bad things happen. People die. Life goes on. Anyway. Did I help with, you know, the rebel thing? Did they believe you? That you're not a spy? You did. They do. It's fine now. They'll help us. Good. 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 They're not gonna cut your head off? What? No? Good. Good. I wish I could have been more helpful. But it was ten years ago. And I didn't really pay attention to what April said about that Abnaxis chap. It's okay. If you don't mind, I need to be alone for a little while. Clean my feathers, sharpen my beak, reflect on the nature of life. Bird stuff. Totally understand. I'll find you in the city. Okay, well, that could have gone a lot worse. Um, uh... Mm. Right. Um... Yeah! Enu. We have to go talk to Enu. That is a thing we should be doing. They add color to the place, if nothing else. D do they really add color to the place? Beautiful colors. Intricate weave. Color? These what work colors? really well in my apartment. I guess... Sort of off-white blue is a color? Yeah, Crow would have called me on it. You can't lie to Crow. You just cannot lie to Crow. Oh, hello! You knew April. You were there when she died. Shepard told me. I was... I wanted to know what you saw. 
I saw April and Kian talking. Then the Asadi soldiers arrived and April was stabbed with a spear. She fell into the water. Kian was arrested. He was obviously distraught. I tried to save her, but I was too late. Against the entire Azadi army, there wasn't much you could do. Oh, you're not you going to blame us. her? For a time, we were more than friends. Excuse we me? Good friends. She was the strongest and bravest woman I ever knew. I respected her. I loved her. Uh, well, that sheds a fucking different light on this relationship. No wonder he's been... Mm -hmm. That recontextualizes a lot of stuff. He's a magical. Do you know anything about the Ula? What are they? A magical people. They live in the Purple Mountains. Outside the Southlands and Azadir. I haven't seen much of this world. I don't know the Ula. Yeah, he thought he... Okay. I, I don't think he's in the mood. I'm going yeah, to let's not around. bug him too much. But ahead. I'm glad we stopped and talked to him. Oh yeah, he's still an asshole, and I'm still glad I ditched him. But... Like, I get the explanation. Ooh! Yeah, he would totally have get Nane if... Hmm. That is... Interesting. That is an inter... Ah, I'm not gonna get anywhere bugging her. Okay, let's go find Anu. To the library! -da 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 -da. They kept me locked up in one of those cells all night. This may not be a prison, but it's not far from it. Uh, here is a room. I think that's Keon's room. He just leaves his door open. Maybe this one's Keon's room. Oh, hey! God, you did me a I, I was just... I mean, I, I'm what? not... You, how did I- what? What? Walking around in your own? Why is this guy important? This doesn't look- he looks guilty. Is this your room? Well, we don't- you know, we don't have our own rooms. Anyway, keen has gone. I was just looking for- um... It's Zoe, is it not? I'm Jakai, Benrima Salman's nephew. She said some very nice things about you. You'll have to give her my regards. How is Benrima? I noticed the journeyman was closed down. Oh, he's very yeah, suspicious. They arrested her for colluding with the resistance. She was sentenced to ten years in the dungeons. I don't know if she'll survive that. Oh, no. Anyway, I'm sure she'll be happy to hear that you're back in town. I'm sorry about your aunt. If anybody yeah. has a motive to betray the resistance, it's this dude. I don't know what I'll do without her. She's the only oh, family I shit. have. Look, I have to go into town on an errand now, but please let me know if there's anything I can do for you. Mm. Okay, I... There is nothing I can do about that dawning realization. Well... Nexus, Purple Mountains, Ular, Ula, 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 Ula. Nope, nothing, no. Enu's really weird and very sweet, and I like her a oh, lot. Books, please don't go me now. Zoe. T no, do not touch um, the ears. Abscesses. Ooh, nope, that's a different type of ab. I've been trying to find a book, or a scroll, or a manuscript, or a map, or torn note page, or ancient magical tome, or a pamphlet, or a piece of cloth that mentions the Purple Mountains, or the Ular, but... No luck. It's really frustrating. This library has never let me down before. Bad library! Choices don't actually matter, but they monumentally at the same time. 
that's the thing, though, is, um, that's how I feel about a lot of Telltale-style adventure games. The, uh, they do not matter, but they matter monumentally. They don't matter in the grand scheme of things, but they can matter immensely to you as a person. If you're into the story. Uh, and there's all kinds of ways to matter. Like, I played the Game of Thrones Telltale game. I have no personal investment whatsoever in Game of Thrones or Song of Ice and Fire. I played that game like I had two fists full of dynamite and I wanted a hug. I was just trying to fuck everybody up as bad as possible because I thought it was hilarious. And I had a blast with that game. So there's all kinds of ways to have fun with uh, forking choice adventure games. You can just fork the hell out of them. This Yo. is where I try to connect and make friends. Yes, we connect. You just joined the resistance? Oh, yes. Uh, no. Not really just. About half a year ago? Wait, more than that. Time flies when you're having fun. Well, fun. Sometimes you need to make the best out of a bad situation. Right. And it's my duty. We're doing good, important work here. Also, I didn't want to end up living the life my parents wanted for me. I can identify with that. This is so nice. I wish we were sisters. Can we be sisters? You don't have to answer that. Um... Do you have any siblings? I did. Uh, sort of. Long story. You? Oh, lots. <laughs> Boyfriend, do you have one of those? I do. I think. We haven't spoken in a while, and he doesn't know. <laughs> I think we need to have a long talk when I... If I get back home. It's been a very tough year. For the both of us. I was... Asleep. For a long time. I forgot a lot of the stuff that happened to me before I fell asleep. I tried to remember, but I couldn't. Until my memories caught up with me. Oh, Jesus. It's a long story. Very complicated. Maybe another time? Yes, uh, please? Can we be sisters? We're close. She seems so Okay, let's make the introduction. Enu, right? I don't feel we were properly introduced. I know you are. I mean, <laughs> no, uh, yes. Mm, you're right. Enu. I am Enu. I hope you're staying a while. It would be so great to have someone around who's not a surly warrior with mommy issues, or a stoic leader, or a battle-hardened soldier, or just batshit insane. I mean... There's Jakai. He's pretty normal, except for his aunt issues, but he's a bit too... Ugh. Hey, so, uh, what do you do when you're not saving the world? Neural programming. I mean, I did. Then my world shut down, and now I just watch a lot of shows and eat. Uh, uh sorry. Didn't understand any of that, but it was still amazing. Tell me again? Maybe next time? I can't wait to talk more about all these things we have in common. We must have a sleepover. There mu so, no luck? Nothing. Sorry. And I've read most of these before. I can't remember coming across any of those words you mentioned. There's not much else to do here in the evenings except read. I don't really have any female friends. It gets lonely. Anyway, I've been through all the encyclopedias and travelogues, but... Nothing about the Purple Mountains or the Ula. Nothing. I mean, the Purple Mountains sounds colloquial. It may have a different name officially, but the Ular, there should be something about them. It's a magical race? They didn't look human. Weird there's nothing about them. They must be very isolated, or... Or? Or someone's trying to hide something. Which would be weird and very hard to pull off. Forget I said that. No, I don't believe I will. Anyway, yeah, Enu is, um... <laughs> she is... Like, riding the rainbow direct to your home. I find it difficult to believe super lesbian animal RPG is going to be more lesbian than her. 
Although I am going to be very happy to be proven wrong. I'm on a deadline. I should just cut this short. I guess I'll have to look elsewhere. Oh no. I'm so sorry. I really thought I'd find something. I feel terrible. I, do you want to be my friend? Oh, I already asked you that. I'm coming on too strong, aren't I? I am, I can tell. Stop it, Enu. No, not at all. That's... I'd love to be friends. And thank you for helping me. Much good that did. I really wish I knew who else could... For the love of the festering demon shrimps of Jaharva, do I have to do everything in this place? No, I didn't spend all those... Oh, hey! Streets of Mercuria, pilfering you fucking remember he's in the resistance? To with this shite. I swear I'd be better off going back to sleeping in Abnaxus's stone tree if I can't even get a mattress that isn't flea and maggot infested. Do your bleeding jobs, people. Is that oh, I'm allowed to move. Ask? Okay. That guy looks familiar, but I'm not quite sure where I've... <gasps> Blind Bob? Eh? What? Who's asking? Where? Blessed be me straight britches. You're the last what brought me mulled wine back when I'd hit rock bottom in Mercuria. What in the name of the eight-eyed octo-god of Tartillas are you doing here? I was about to ask you the same thing. Except for, you know, uh, not, not those words, exactly. Oh, I left me life of beggaring behind. Cleaned myself up. Joined the resistance. I'm a general now. You have great I'm pants. I'm making a difference. You're making a difference in my heart. Um... General? Are you an actual general? Aye. See these stripes? General On your pants? Bob, that's me. I takes care of the logic sticks round here so the place don't crumble to pieces. Shepherd's busy with the strategering. Kian sorts out who to murder and how. Liko makes a fine job of being contrary. And Enu keeps everyone's spirits up. I mean, when she's not shooting Azadi soldiers in their eyeballs with her bow and arrow. Me, I make sure the ladder's stocked, the sheets are clean, relatively speaking, and that the piss pots are empty. Can't go to war on a full bladder. Didn't he? Do you know someone called Abnaxus? Abnaxus? Now there's a name I haven't heard spoken in years. Where do you know it from? Sorry, I just overheard. Actually, I met Abnaxus recently. Well, I dreamed about Abnaxus. Or maybe it was more like a vision. This sounds crazy, I know, but... Sounds completely sane to me, lass. Abnaxus turning up in visions, hmm? That's exactly the sort of fellow he was. Persistent, hmm? unpredictable, and not a little annoying. I met him when he was the Venar ambassador to Irid. Uh, this was before the gutters, when I was still a dapper chap on the Mercurian party circuit. We hit it off, especially seeing as I was going blind, theoretically, and he saw everything. Past, present, and future. Years later, as he was leaving town, he entrusted oh. me with the key to his home. Said to take care of it. I'd sleep there from time to time. Very uncomfortable buck. Musty smell of ancient books and foreign weeds. I didn't much care for it, to be honest. I'm sure you said something about a key to Abnaxus's house. They called it the abode back then. Abnaxus's abode. Primitive accommodations, but luxurious location. Prime real estate. Central with a garden view. Very quiet at night. And... The key? D do you still have it? Sorry, this is really important. Oh, I, I carry it with me every day. After all, it is a magic key. Figured it might do me lumbago some good. W what about this house? I mean, the abode? Ah, also still there, and not hard to find. Sits right circle in the center of the city green. Abnaxus carved it out of a petrified tree with his own morbidly huge hands. A few years ago, the authorities turned it into an historical landmark. Of course, no one can get inside on account of the Venar magic. Not without the key, at least. This key? Can I... Oh, sure. Heavier than it looks, ain't it? 
Hmm? More powerful than iron, worth its weight in precious stones, and then some. This magic goes back to the first magic. None of that modern hocus-pocus. You feel it in your fingers when you hold it. Tingles, don't it? It does. Sorry, I know this is asking a lot, but can I... Borrow it? Why? Why not? I stunned the lumbago no good. And I don't have much use for the place, now that I've a proper bog here. But keep it safe. Abnaxus left most of his belongings behind and entrusted me with their care. I'd hate to betray that trust. I promise. That's a fair point. Yo, Enu, guess what I just found? Hey, I made progress. Blind Bob, I mean, the general, gave me the key to Abnaxus's house. I might find what I'm looking for there. You wanna come? It's great! Oh, I wish I could come with you, but there's this whole furry thing I've got going on. Know what you mean. It's a big no-no in the city these days. Oh, sorry about that. Humans can be real dicks sometimes. Yeah, I mean, uh, sometimes. Some humans, not most. You're a good human. Um, what are these dicks you speak of? That's not important. Thanks, thanks again for your help. Are you leaving? Already? I mean, we just met, and, and... You'll come back though, right? I hope so. Oh, okay. <laughs> because there's so much I want to talk about, and I'll let you go now. Thanks for talking to me, Zoe. I miss you already. Uh, shut up now. Anu, okay. Uh, thanks. Bye! Yeah, I don't think... I just got an achievement called Sleepover. I think it's for hanging out with Anu so much. Uh... That feels great, actually. All right. Um. Hmm. It's been two hours and six minutes, which means it is more or less time. God, it's so wet down here. One of those big cow turtle things I saw back in town. One thing's for sure, I'm never ever riding one. I'm scared enough of cows and horses. Adding a turtle shell and a giraffe's neck doesn't really help matters much. One of those big cow turtle things I mm. saw back in town. One thing's for sure. Wet I and never, bad, ever yeah. Ever God, it's so wet down. So he after talking to Adam. I just... <laughs> How the fuck do I leave? How do I leave this place? You take the stairs. Anyway, it is uh, more or less time to go, so as soon as I have... The library's in the back, if you're looking for Eno. Feel free to wander around up here, but downstairs is off limits. Okay, I gotta figure out how to leave. Um... You spoke with the general. Did you find what you were looking for? It's a step in the right direction. Good. I've asked them to ready a boat for you. Whenever you're ready, it will take you into the city. I may not fully understand your role, Zoe, but there's something about you that... I've learned to have faith in the balance. The balance provides. The balance guides. It's guiding you now. You must let it take you wherever it leads, like a leaf on a river. Bend to its will. I'll try. We shall speak again, Zoe Castillo. When the winds have quieted, the clouds have parted, and the grass on the Great Plains stands straight and tall once more. That's a while? Oh, and this dude teleported the fuck out. Like, he's gone. There is nowhere he could possibly have gone. Unless it's over there. Yeah, I think he walked over there. Actually, never mind. I'm wrong. All right, let's, uh... Yeah, okay. I'm gonna take a boat, we're gonna watch whatever scene is next, and after that, we're shutting down for the night. Now Locate up next is the boat. The city green. I wish Crow was with me. I feel less alone with that silly bird around. 
Well, I what think I'm he's right over there. Maybe you ought to save. And for a change, I can finally save and quit. Right. Get to know Enu properly and said your goodbyes. Thirteen percent of players have this achievement. That is mean. Well, congratulate yourselves all on being among those who truly feel Enu in their hearts. <sighs> Feels like it's going to be Zoe and Anu's only powwow. If there is any way back into her company, I will find it. I will. But yeah, this was a roller coaster of an episode. Uh, actually, one for the Kleenex box because of that pro thing. Uh, there is nowhere that I'd like to pass you off to right now. So, I am just going to free you into the wilderness. Scatter, everyone. Scatter. Go forth. Stop telling me about shit I've already redeemed, Prime. Him. Uh, as always, I'd like to, uh... Thank you all for... Go raid Zyzy Scrub. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to thank you all for showing up. I'd like to thank you all for existing. And I'd like to thank you all for being all of you. It's, it's important to me that you guys are you. That you're all ex existent. It's nice. Good night. Good night. Good night.